So with Xenoblade Chronicles kind of getting a remake, remaster, definitive edition, whatever you want to call it, the game is coming back, right? And it's one of my favorite games of all time. And it kind of reminded me of a old video idea I used to have and I just didn't do anything with, which was games that I wanted to see brought back, remastered, uh, ported, whatever you want to call it. Like just games I want to see brought back and, you know, ported to Switch or whatever the case may be, right? Uh, originally... I was going to put Xenoblade Chronicles as my number one game, but that ended up kind of happening, so awesome. But since I never actually got to talk about it, I figured that now would be a good time to actually get to that, right? So let's do that. So here are some games that I hope to see again sometime. I love it when ambulances ruin my fucking recording. So I want to start off with a game that I think is one of the more obvious ones since it's kind of been, I guess, rumored a million times and a half by now. So I'm just going to outright say it. I want to see Metroid Prime Trilogy. Like I said, this game has been kind of rumored how many times? It seems like every time something is about to happen, like somebody mentions Metroid Prime Trilogy. Uh, I don't remember who was saying it. I just remember seeing that like every time a direct was happening or every time some kind of event was happening that Nintendo might have an announcement at that we're always going to hear about it. So maybe it's happening, maybe it's not, regardless if it is or it isn't or regardless if, you know, leaks are or the rumors are any, you know, they have any truth to them or whatever the case may be, I still want to see Metroid Prime Trilogy. Uh, I, I want to play Metroid Prime 1, 2, and 3. Uh, I would prefer if they also heavily modify it. Obviously, I'm not talking about, you know, resolution and stuff like that, because I just feel like that's kind of a given when you kind of bring a game back, especially one that's, you know, as old as those games are. Uh, I kind of just want to see, like, a combination of control schemes, maybe even modernize the control scheme uh, specifically for the GameCube games. So, if you remember, they had Metro Prime Trilogy on the Wii, and they kind of, like, redid certain things so you could play with the, um, the motion controls, you know, from, like, Metro Prime 3. And they kind of used it for the first two. I kind of want to see something like that again, except figure out a way to like modernize the controls a little bit so it, you know, kind of fits to the current standard to an extent. And maybe even uh, make it so that you can play Metro Prime 3 specifically with traditional controls. I just feel like if you put Metro Prime Trilogy on Switch and you make it so that you support both the motion controls and the traditional controls on all the games, kind of be perfect, I think. Or, you know, at least as close to perfect as you can possibly get it. So I say, yeah, why not do that? So definitely go for Metroid Prime Trilogy. But I'm also going to just do a quick side note here and mention another game that some people have mentioned very often as well. So I'll just kind of put it out there as well. I also want to see Xenoblade Chronicles X. Uh, like I said, when I originally was going to make this video like a while back, I wanted to see Xenoblade Chronicles 1 again. But now that we got that, I think it'd be cool to get X also. I It would be the easiest of the games I have listed, considering the fact that it's a Wii U game and we've already seen a bunch of Wii U ports happen. I know there's been an article somewhere where someone mentioned that it would be difficult or hard or something. But I, I find that to be weird to say that it'd be hard to put X on there, considering that they have one working on there with a whole remake and that clearly takes way more effort than just to port the Wii U game. And I just feel like it would be so much easier than one, although I love one way more than like every other Xenoblade game, so I'm happy that they decided to go the route that they did. But I just think it'd be cool to have every current Xenoblade game on the system, which you're gonna notice watching this video, that's kind of a reoccurring theme because it's kind of the same thing with uh, Metroid Prime Trilogy or like all those games that come out before we get uh, Metro Prime 4. I think it'd be cool to just have Xenoblade 1, X, and 2 all in one place, but that's beside the point. Maybe put some of the old Xeno games, but that's not that's not really the main game I'm choosing. I just want to see X for the most part, but if you can get like Xeno Gears and Xeno Saga onto the Switch also, I think that'd be really cool. But it's, in terms of my second pick, it's going to be Xenoblade Chronicles X and then before that, Metro Prime Trilogy. Now, this is kind of the only game I have listed here that isn't uh, a Nintendo game in any capacity, but I saw a listing, I think, or it was an article of some kind mentioning the possibility of this happening. And then because of my recent time with another game from the same developer, 
kind of reminded me of it and i kind of do want to see it actually become a thing so let's make it a thing <laughs> and that game is alan wake um i would love to see an alan wake remake or i don't know re-release remaster i just like to see alan wake be brought back in some way i've always wanted an alan wake 2 and i know there's the alan wake american nightmare but that's not really the same thing that's like a small spin-off title sort of deal but i would like to see just alan wake come back uh, and the last thing basically rumored that Remedy, developers of Alan Wake, was going to kind of just do a remaster for Alan Wake, but put it on like, you know, all the platforms. That would be my phone. But apparently they were going to do a remake or bring the game back in some capacity anyways, because I there was that uh, article about, you know, the remaster coming to like Switch, PS4, Xbox, and, you know, all these platforms. So it's kind of like, it might happen anyways, but I just always felt that the developers of Alan Wake, Remedy, uh, was some of the most underrated developers in quite some time. Like, they did the first two Max Payne games, they did Alan Wake, they did Control. I, I just feel like their games are always of quality, and they're barely ever given the recognition. I guess now Control has some recognition, considering it's nominated for Game of the Year, but... Uh, they just rarely ever really get a lot of attention. So I'm just kind of happy to see them get some. And I just feel like if we got Alan Wake on the Switch, it would just be cool to play the game again. I would I would like to play Alan Wake again in any capacity or at all. <laughs> uh, maybe just, you know, bring the remaster to the other systems, make them 4K, I guess. You know, put all that stuff up there. And in the Switch, you know, they'll have it, the 1080p, 60 frames, and portable. And that'd be enough for me, really. So the last games I have on my list are basically just like another example of the you know, Metroid Prime trilogy and like Xenoblade arguments where I just kind of want all the games of a particular series in one platform. So I kind of just like having that so that way people who are not familiar with the series who is joining in from like the second game or like you know the third game or whatever the case may be, they can come in play the OG game, you know, play the originals, and then they could jump in and know everything that's going on just as much as people have been following it for years. Uh, so the last one I have is No More Heroes 1 and 2. Now, you might be thinking, like, that's not really one game because <laughs> at least with Metroid Prime Trilogy, that, is, that has existed in some way or another. And the other ones are all one game. But I, I would like to see them just make a, a pack of some kind. It, what was weird is that the PlayStation 3 had a thing called No More Heroes, I think Heroes Paradise or something. And that was weird because that was basically like No More Heroes 1 and just like specific things from 2. Like like it was just the boss fights and not the actual game. Which is... Why? Why did, why did What was the point of that? But the point is that... I would like to see, because obviously we're having No More Heroes 3 coming out, which was one of the most hypest announcements for me, because I think these games are hilarious and I love them. Uh, but I think just for people who, you know, didn't play No More Heroes 1 and 2, which by the way, considering the sales of these games, there's not really a ton of people who got to enjoy these games, despite the fact that they have like this cult following going on. Uh, so I think out of all the games that I've listed, you know, Metro Prime Trilogy, Xenoblade, I think No More Heroes probably has like the least amount of like attention on it. You know, like I've known more people who have played Xenoblade than No More Heroes, despite the fact that some people would, you know, make the argument that Xenoblade is more niche than most Nintendo games, right? But No More Heroes is even more niche than that, I think. <laughs> and I just feel like No More Heroes 3, which is wow, is, you know, really hype for me and like other people who have been wanting a No More Heroes game. There's two other games before that that a lot of people just missed out on and just didn't know about it until now, you know, because of the E3 announcement and all that, all that stuff. So, yeah, I, I just feel like if you bring back the first two, there's not much you really have to do to really bring it back either. It's not like, you know, there's crazy controls or anything that would make it complicated. You know, just, you know, make it... Because the only motion controls they had in those two games was, like, they would have, like, an arrow on screen. You just move the weird mode in that direction, and that, that would be, like, your killing blow. So just replace that with a button, and then, and then that's it. You're done. Because there, it wasn't really super in-depth motion controls. Not really. And you can replace that with a button super easily. And even then, like, what? You make it HD. You replace that with a button. You put it in, into a pack of some kind, and boom, you're done. Kind of like what Bayonetta had. Bayonetta is having a Bayonetta 3 very soon, and they put 1 and 2 in a pack. So why can't Normal Heroes do the same thing? 
make that HD, you know, get remaster it, right? Put one and two in a pack, and boom, people are more than prepared to see what's going on in No More Heroes 3. I just want to see Metro Prime Trilogy. I want to see the No More Heroes 1 and 2 pack, I guess. Uh, Alan Wake and Xenoblade Chronicles X. So if you guys are just as much interested in those games, let a guy know. Maybe you have other games that you'd like to see brought back. And maybe a lot of these games um, you haven't played, which is kind of like the reason why I want to see them brought back. I know a lot of people who didn't play uh, Alan Wake or Xenoblade X or No More Heroes. I mean, Metro Prime, a lot of people have played, but I'm sure there's a couple of you who missed out on such a great trilogy so let me know if you guys have played it let me know if you haven't let me know regardless of the reasoning just let me know why you haven't played these wonderful things <laughs> but regardless leave a comment do the like thing do the stuff that youtube makes me have to say and yeah that's kind of all i have for you guys so take care and i'll see you guys in the next one